Hello YouTube, welcome to a special random one-off episode of the Judah YouTube show. In this episode, I'm taking a page out of the Anthony Fantano music review book. And I'm going to do three album reviews. I posted on my um, Instagram story the other day to, you know, asking for album reviews from anyone and I got a lot of responses, a lot of like a lot. And you know, I wasn't going to be able to listen to every single album obviously. That'd be that'd be a lot. Take a while. But I chose three of the albums that seemed interesting to me that I haven't listened to before, and I'm just going to review them. So let's just get into it. So starting off with our first album review, this one is coming from my good friend Thomas Williams, who recommended me this album. It is Rage Against the Machine's self-titled album. So um, I'm familiar with Rage Against the Machines. I've listened to their music before but I've never listened to this full album and I'm a little ashamed it's taken me this long because I mean I absolutely love this album. I've been, you know, I'm a I really I'm really into hard rock and all that kind of stuff and the more heavy metal things. It's just something, you know, I really liked and I listened to a lot. So yeah, it's surprising it took me this long to listen to it. But it's just an incredible um fantastic album. Um I mean, I was familiar with a few of the songs already, but just the rest of them, they fit perfectly in this album. It's just it all flows together really nice. It's really great. The vocals, I absolutely love the rough screaming vocals um and the lyrics. It just goes together perfectly with the instrumental of the completely distorted and deep fried guitar riffs and everything. It just goes together to make this perfect, you know, hard rock song. And um Uh um, my favorite song off the album is obviously going to be Killing in the Name. It's just I don't know, it was a fan it's a great song and um you know I won't get too into it with the politics behind the album but it's a very political um band all together with their lyrics and everything but I think it just I think it you know it works well it goes great it's even applicable to today's situations and things like that. But overall I mean I just absolutely love this album. I give it a 10 out of 10. Even if you're not into that kind of music, I think everyone should listen to it at least once. It's, uh, it's fantastic. I say good night, night. I took a little taint. Next recommendation comes from my friend Ripley. It's Never Forever by Kate Bush. Now I'm going to be honest, I think the first song in a lot of first people songs introduction to Kate Bush was running up that hill when it was on that, you know, episode of Stranger Things. And um I'm going to be honest, I kind of hate that song. It was, you know, played non-stop at my work for some reason it got in the rotation and I had to listen to it at least, you know, six or seven times during my shift and it was the worst. I also hated that season of Stranger Things. It was terrible and doo-doo. No offense to anyone who liked it. But so I was a little Um I was a little hesitant going into this album at first. It's not the album that that song's off of, but um I got to say I was very surprised. I mean, I wasn't that surprised that I liked it, but I just I really enjoyed this album, but I was a little hesitant going into it because I just I don't know, I wasn't sure if all our music was going to sound the same. It definitely has that similar 80s kind of pop vibe, but it's still very different in with like the instrumentals and the arrangements and her vocals and all that kind of stuff. I mean just the album all together is it's definitely up there now with one of my favorite 80s albums. I listen to a lot of 80s music, you know, Smiths, The Cure, Joy Division, all of them. You know, I love, you know, Talking Heads. I love 80s music. And so this is definitely going to be up there now with some of my favorite 80s songs and, you know, album all together. The like I said the instrumentals are you know really cool and interesting and different and the the vocals, she has an absolutely she has a beautiful voice and even and you know extremely angelic in some of these for some of these songs too and i think it just all works together really well and um i mean just yeah the album all put together is great i really enjoyed it um i had heard the one song before by bush guy i think that's the first the first track on the album and i heard the other one army dreamer i think that song's just getting popular on tiktok for some reason or at least it's on my for you page My favorite song off the album all together is going to be Infant Kiss. Um I don't know, something about her vocals and the instruments all together it's just it's a beautiful song. It's fantastic. Um but so all together I'm going to give the album an 8 out of 10. I think if you're really into the kind of 80s pop kind of music or just if you know you're looking for something like that or you just enjoy 80s music, I think it's a solid solid album that anyone could enjoy. Yeah. 
next album is coming from Reagan, who recommended me this album. It is Call Me If You Get Lost by Tyler, the Creator. Now, I used to have a big Tyler phase. First, when you know Igor first came out, I was really into his music. I listened to that album nonstop. It was, you know, one of my favorite albums back in, you know, the earlier 2020s and everything like that. Um, but, I mean, that album just brings me back to lockdown. I, don't know, I listened to so much of it. But I had a big Tyler phase, but then after that, I kind of, you know, moved on, listened to different music, different songs, and I hadn't listened to Tyler in a very long time. You know, randomly his songs would come up and I would listen to them, but I, you know, I never skip or anything. I always listen to him, but I just never, you know, got drawn back to him. You know, never came back to my phase. But this album, I mean, this album was amazing. I absolutely loved this album. I keep saying that for all these albums, but I just picked, apparently I picked three very good albums that I was really going to like, because I liked all these albums. But this one was great. Um, it has all the elements from Igor that I really liked, and that really attracted me to Tyler in the first place, but it just has done even better this time, like the production quality and the, and the writing and the instrumental and everything. It's just somehow even more Tyler the Creator. You know, it's just Tyler Squared. It's fantastic. It's great. It's a really fun album to listen to. Um, I feel like this is a basic answer, you know, I feel, I feel like this is basic, but my favorite song was What's Your Name. Um, I don't know, it's just the, the kind of funk elements and the R&B elements in that song, the vocals, it's just, everything is just, it's just all, it's fantastic and it's great to listen to, it's a whole lot of fun. I absolutely loved it. I think anyone can listen to it, I think everyone can enjoy this album. It's just a solid record. Um, like I said, favorite song, What's Your Name, and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I mean, it was just, I mean, it was a great album. One of the greatest albums that came out that year, I think. One of my, at least my, one of my favorites that came out that year. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching this random one-off episode of Judah Reviews. You know, instead of Judah Does, I mean, I've never done an album review, so it is, you know, I'm doing something different, but... Thank you for watching. I hope you can check these albums out. Enjoy them for yourself. Let me know what you think of them. Um, but that's all for me. Please like, subscribe, watch my other episodes. This is only episode number seven, I think. I have three more, which is crazy. But three more really good episodes coming your way. So look out for those. Bye.